Hello all. Welcome to Retrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about feedback feature in team development utility. So let's get an agenda. We'll discuss about how do we create a, a feedback application using the feedback feature, and also we'll try to understand how do we create it also once we enable feature once we enable feedback feature in our app. Okay. So Team development on the whole, it has these set of functionalities like the labels, milestones, templates, utilities, and feedback. But in our session today, we'll discuss only about the feedback. So how do we create a feedback page in the application? So it's a, actually a feature which we need to include in our application. We does not need to create any separate page for that. Let us understand how do we do it. First thing is once you create Apex application, click on edit application properties. And you should see an option in the show all, allow feedback. So check the property if it is allow feedback is yes or not. If it is not, enable it. That's the first, first functionality you have to enable it. Once this particular feedback feature is enabled, next thing is what we do is create the page. And now the page type should be feature. We have to create a page and the page type should be featured and you select feedback. Once you select the feedback, click on next, you could see a next screen here. Make sure that you mention the appropriate properties. The first property you have to consider is like a include navigation bar. So that like what will happen is it will show an icon beside your username when you open the Apex application. So that's what, you know, like make sure that you include in the navigation bar. And also for administration preferences, what you can do is either you can create a new page or you can use the existing page. It all depends upon the preference. Okay. Now just click on create. You should be able to see the feedback page in your application. Once you run your application, you could see you could see an icon, a similar like this, this kind of icon. Once you click on the icon, it shows a pop-up like this. And here you just need to mention the feedback. Okay, good, bad, worst kind of thing and submit the feedback. And once that is done, you can click on the user feedback to see what are the responses provided by the user. And also generally, let us say, once you enable the feedback feature in your application, how do you remove it, right? So we also need to understand how do we, how do we create this particular feature and also how do we remove it from our application. So to remove this particular feedback feature from your application, go to application, shared components, build components. There you should be able to see a feedback feature like this. Click on that. And once you click on that, it shows an option called status include or exclude. Okay, first of all, exclude it. And below this, it will show the list of components to be clear below the list of components which are available, click on the delete and then apply changes, that's it. This is how we can delete a feedback app from your Apex application. So now let us see the live demo. So I'll just go to Apex application. So I'll just try to create a new, new application. So let me close the unnecessary things. Yeah. I'll create a new application now. New application with the name feedback application two now just run the application so yeah so as of now this is not having any pages right so what we do is click on create page and here click on feature now click on feedback and here, make sure that this navigation bar is selected, mention the feedback, navigation bar information, and create a new page, or you can use existing page. I prefer creating a new page, and it has some number like this, let it be, and click on create, that's it. Okay. Now just run the page. Okay, so now here, if you observe, the new page was created, but it was not attached to the navigation menu. Okay, this was a new page, the administration page, but that was not assigned to the navigation menu. That will do it, but as of now, this is the administration page. Now, this is how we can submit a feedback. Just click on this icon. It shows a dialogue or a pop-up, and you can just mention the feedback, select the icon, okay? I'll say good, and click on submit it. That's it. And now we can click on user feedback, and you should be able to see the list of responses which this user has submitted like this, okay? Now, the next thing what we do is, how do we add up this administration 
administration page here, right? So we can just simply need to assign to a navigation menu. So once you do that, it will be available in the navigation menu. Now let us see how to be deleted, right? So as of now, we saw how to be include in our particular application. And now to delete it, just click on shared components and build options. Okay. So now here, this was the one, right? Feedback feature. We'll try both the things first. Just click on exclude first and click on apply. And now just refresh this one. Just refresh. Can you see? Now it does not show this feedback application now. It does not show feedback application. Let us say I'll just include it now. As of now, it excluded. Let's say I'll just include and apply changes. Refresh the application. Now we could see the feedback feature is enabled here. Okay. Now let's say, first of all, what we do is this is the best way to delete it. Let us say if you at all, if you want to delete it, what you do is remove the components first. Click on remove the components and yes, click on remove components. Okay. And exclude apply changes. Okay. Now we can just refresh here. You should not see the icon now. It's not showing the icon. And you can also click on this feedback feature again and simply click on delete. That's it. So this is the safest way to delete the feedback feature if you have enabled it, okay? And now the application property which we're discussing, right? Just click on edit application property. This is the feature, hello feedback, okay? So this should be enabled. In this latest version, it is enabled by default, but in earlier versions, it was not enabled by default, okay? So this is all about the feedback feature in Oracle Apex. Thank you.